I'm Adria, and today I'm going to show you how to network your printer so everyone can print hassle-free. I'd like to thank Dell for providing this printer for the video demo. Now, while you may have a printer on your desk, that just doesn't scale as your company begins to grow. Before we get started, let's make sure you have everything you need to follow along. I call this my pre-flight checklist. A printer that has networking capabilities, a computer, two Ethernet cables, and a network. For today's video, the printer we'll set up is the Dell 2155 CDN, which is a multifunction laser printer. The abbreviation for a device that prints, scans, makes copies, and faxes is a multifunction printer, or MFP. But wait, there's more. It's also known as an all-in-one, or an AIO. Next, we'll need a computer to set up the printer with. The laptop I'm working on today is the Dell Vostro V130, and it's running Windows 7 Professional 64-bit operating system. Let's talk Ethernet cables. An Ethernet cable connects your device, such as a laptop or a printer, to your network. In most cases, this cable will be blue, yellow, gray, or black. This is also known as a patch-through cable or a straight-through cable. It kind of looks like a big phone jack. Networks can be simple or complex. It can be two computers sharing a printer and an internet connection. It can be a large-scale network complete with a closet, rack-mounted servers, patch panels, a T1 line, and multiple servers. But for today, we're going to use a simple example with one router, one computer, one printer, and an internet connection. Now let's get started with setting things up. There are going to be three major steps in completing this. The first will be the physical setup, where we'll actually connect the devices to each other. The second will be the network setup, which will include configuring the printer to have an IP address. And the last step will be setting up the software on the computer so that it can communicate to the printer. Okay, so with all these items, the first thing we want to do is the physical setup. Now this printer I've already unboxed. Make sure you do that, you need to remove all the tapes, you need to activate the toner, set your time zone, date, things like that. So I'm already working with that here. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and connect the printer to the network. We're going to use one of the Ethernet cables. I'm going to use the blue one. So I'm going to go around to the back of the printer and I'm plugging that in. And then on the back of your networking device or your switch, you're going to go ahead and plug this into one of the data ports. All right, next we need to go ahead and connect the laptop or computer. I'll be using an Ethernet cable as well. Now, this printer model supports three different types of connectivity. We're doing a hardwired Ethernet connection today, but it also supports a direct connection via USB. And you can also do wireless, but that's an optional feature, so you have to get the add-on card. But for now, we're using Ethernet. Let's go ahead and get that connected to the back of the router slash switch. Great. Boom. So when it comes to computer networks, you have devices that are connected through cables and they talk to each other. They exchange information, they print, people can view files and folders, those sorts of things. Let's talk about networks because that's an important part of this video. So when you go ahead and configure a device with a manual address, you need three items. You need the IP address, the subnet mask, and the gateway. A typical network has an IP range of 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.255. So we're going to go ahead and get that configured on the front of the panel. First we'll go to menu. Then we're going to go ahead and navigate down to system. Hit the OK button. Then we will go down to the admin menu. And then we're going to go to network. In here, we're going to go ahead and choose TCP IP. So we'll go down one. And then we're going to choose IPv4. We actually need to do two things in here. One is tell the printer that we manually want to set the IP address. We see right now it says auto IP. And that's pretty common with printers. Once we tell the printer we want to set the IP address manually, we will then go ahead and do so. So first, we'll start here and get IP address. And we're going to change this to panel, meaning that we will input the new IP address via the panel. It's going to notify us that the system will not take effect until we restart the printer. So we'll go back, and then we go down to IP address, hit OK, and we're going to go ahead and enter in the address. 192.168.1.50. We also need to check the subnet mask. 255, 255. 
And we'll go ahead and change the gateway address. So that will be 192.168.1.1. We will now restart the printer for them to take effect. And to check the IP address, we can go back into the menu, but we also can print a report. So we're going to go to menu, we're going to go to system, we're going to go to report list, and we'll go to system settings, and you'll see it will actually print that report for us. And we can see here that the IP address has been set under the network configuration. Now we're at the last step of setting up a network printer. We've gone ahead and connected all the devices. We've manually configured an IP address for this printer and talked about networking. Now it's time to put the software on the laptop so it can print to the printer. Now when you install software for a printer, you usually have two options. One is to install the drivers and the other is to install the software. The software can do a variety of things uh, from scanning, faxing, and even monitoring uh, toner. A lot of different options there. If this is your first time adding a printer to your network, go ahead and select the first item, which is the guided setup. They'll take you step by step through everything. We're going to go ahead and choose the software installation, which will install the drivers and the printer software. Next, we'll choose the network installation. We'll choose our model number, which is the CDN, and a local installation for the print drivers. We'll go ahead and acknowledge that Windows 7 prompt. And I'm going to go ahead and rename the printer to something a little bit more friendly. I'll go ahead and choose to install all of the software, and then we're done. So the great thing about having the software installed is that you can do a lot of remote monitoring of the printer's health right from your desktop. Okay, we made sure we had everything we needed. We went ahead and connected all the devices. We configured our network. We installed the software, so now it's time to test. What we're going to do is go into the control panel, and then we're going to look at devices and printers, and from there, we're going to generate a test page to make sure that our laptop can print to the printer. Let's go ahead and do that. To print a test page, we'll go to the Start menu. We'll click Devices and Printers. We'll go ahead and double-click the Dell 2155 CDN. Go to Printer, then to Properties, and click to print a test page. I have a test page, do you? Hopefully your setup went fine. If it didn't, leave a question down below. Let me know what type of printer you had, and I can certainly help you along. After checking out this printer, I would say that the Dell 2155 CDN is a great value. It's a multifunction color laser printer, so it scans, faxes, prints, and pretty much does everything except make your dinner. Well, that wraps up the tutorial on how to connect your printer to the network. Stay tuned for videos two and three where I will show you how to scan from a printer to Evernote as well as I'll compare three laser printers for the office. I also want to tell you about this great program that Dell has called the Trade-In Program. Basically, you can go ahead and send in your older laser printer and Dell will give you up to 50% off the purchase of a new printer just like this one. As always, if you like this video, please subscribe for more great videos, leave a comment down below, and like my video. Thanks everybody.